Clemson is on a six game winning streak and looking to continue its winning streak over South Carolina as well. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz. Glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com. It's the college football preview show presented by Tyson Anytizers. Let's bring in CBS Sports. Spencer told me to break this down. And Spence, uh, Clemson, the ACC Atlantic Division champion. They're going to play in the ACC championship game against Georgia Tech December 5th uh, for a chance at their first ACC title in 18 years. Just how good is this team that Dabo Sweeney has put together? Well, they're very good. I mean, clearly they have talent, but they have what I call the BI index is very high. You know, they believe in themselves, and, and, and rightfully so. They've got skill position players. They've got a spirited coach. They've got a great system on offense as well as defense that's complete right now, and they're streaking at the right time. So this Clemson team is ready to do something special. I think that 18 years has been a long time. They're ready to put that to rest. Yeah, and Spence, we talk about C.J. Spiller every week, and deservedly so, and he's going to get Heisman consideration, as we've been pointing out, and certainly um, – is right up there with the best of the contenders. But what else does this offense have? Well, Michael Palmer, their tight end, is the guy that's really made him special. Again, and people talk about C.J. Spiller all the time, but what really makes him the threat that he is, besides his natural gifts and talents, is when you get a tight end that can vertically stretch the field, it affects the back end. The safeties have to play a little bit different. Or if you have an athletic uh, linebacker that can play one-on-one -on -one with him and run with him, that's okay. But not very many people, because of Palmer's athleticism, can run with him. And he's got a young freshman understudy that's been doing exceptionally well as well. So I think those two really opens up the Entire spectrum of what Clemson can do offensively. They got a lot of parts on that offensive side of the ball. Yeah, Jacoby Ford's very good too. The quarterback, yeah. uh, the young quarterback's having a great season as well for Clemson, and now they're looking for a seven straight win. Meanwhile, South Carolina spends a year in, year out, same story as we get to this game under Steve Spurrier. Great start, bad finish. And I know the competition at the end is always tougher for South Carolina, but if they want to compete in that level with the SEC East, got to win some of those games. So, how crucial is this game for Steve Spurrier and, and the fan base at South Carolina? Well, it's huge. I mean, again, I always talk about the element of recency. What you do last, people tend to remember most. And, and the most important constituency that Steve Spurrier's got to be concerned with is the recruits. They're in a tough spot, ge you know, geographically, so that's always going to be a challenge for them. They don't necessarily get the top-tier talent, although in years past, uh, more recent in particular, Alshon Jeffrey and those types, these are special players that Steve Spurrier has been able to woo there to South Carolina. And I think if he stays and just hangs in there, maybe another year or two, he's going to start to see the worm turn a little bit because they've got some skilled position players. Garcia be one more year older, more tour, making some sound decisions, which he's done this year much better than he did a year ago. So I think they're on the uptick. Do you think with Steven Garcia there under center, Spence, that uh, this is a team that has a shot to not only beat Clemson in this ball game, but challenge next season in the SEC East? Yeah, never count the old ball coach out. As long as he's got a quarterback, even if though he gets frustrated and he takes the visor off half a dozen times or more in the course <laughs> of a game, never, never underestimate him because he can coach, particularly the quarterback position. And their defense is always going to be solid, although next year it will be certainly weaker than it has been in the last couple of years. Yeah, they'll lose Eric Norwood to the draft yeah. uh, after this year, his senior season. All right, Spence, the game is in Columbia, but you're going to take Clemson to win or you're going to take South Carolina for the victory? I'm not going against uh, Dabo Sweeney and this Clemson ball club and C.J. Spiller. wouldn't do it. All right, we'll see how it is. I'm not going to go against them either the way that they're playing. Spencer <laughs> Tillman, we'll see you Friday and Saturday on CBS this week, my friend. All right, Jason, we'll see you, buddy. Happy right. Thanksgiving. Same to you. For more on this game, stay right here with CBSSports.com. That'll do it for the College Football Preview Show presented by Tyson Anytizers, the meaty good man snack. For Spencer T., I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.